All right, so here's Mac. What's up, Mac? Mac! Hey, what's up, Mac? Mac. Here's Mac, and here's Mac. 1984 Mac. So 1984 Mac and 2020 Mac. Mac. All right, check this out. Floppy emulator. Pretty cool little gadget. Of course, I've got the old school external floppy right here, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use this really cool floppy emulator called Floppy EMU. I bought a little, came with a little acrylic case as part of a kit. You just snap it together. It's got a ribbon cable. Same connector that plugs in back here for the external drive. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power. I always leave that unplugged just in case. And check this out. Mac, let's fire it up. 2020 Mac, 1984 Mac. We'll fire it up. Actually, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on so I can show you. So, so that's basically it firing up. It's got, it comes preloaded with some software. So let's go down here and let's go to Macintosh stuff. Let's go to system disk. Now this is only a Mac 128. It has not had any upgrades. So I can only run on this one. I was only able to get it to boot on the system 2.0 disc. So I just basically go down, find system 2.0, select that and check this out. And it actually loads. System 2.0, which is really cool. There you go. And everything works just like just like it normally should. So now if I want to load a program such as Mac Write, go over here, eject, just like you normally would. It's doing a bunch of stuff over here. Let's go back up a folder. We'll go to apps. Even has Microsoft Basic on here, which is cool. Some of these won't work because they're 800K images or 1.44 images. The Mac 128 only reads 400K disks. Luckily, Mac right is 400K. See right there? Hourglass is chiming away. Now it wants me to go back and insert the system disk. If you remember back in the day, you had to do this a lot on the old Macs. Let's go back. System disk. We're at system 2.0. Now I gotta go back and insert the Mac Rider disk. There it is. Except I just goofed, I think, and I turned it off on accident. I'm hoping that that may have just messed it up. Let's see if it'll open. Yeah, I just goofed because I accidentally turned the power off. It did not like that. I bumped the power button right here and turned it off. So let's try this again. Macintosh. Boy, that's a pain. System 2. Welcome to back. It's pretty incredible that this works. File eject. Right, it's gonna probably ask me to insert the system disk. Oh, it didn't that time. Huh. 
Let's see what happens. Double click on Mac right. You can see it reading it. All the lights blinking away. Some activity on the screen. This is so cool. Hey, there we go. You can type a lot faster with both hands. All right, so anyways, a little bit of uh, nostalgia there mixed with modern hardware. Pretty cool. If you guys have used the floppy emulator, feel free to leave your comments below. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Hip. Have a great one.